Coach PJ here. I spent the weekend with family and friends enjoying and celebrating and it was so wonderful. And a couple things that showed up for me this weekend that I want to share with you have to do with how much our thoughts drive our actions. And I saw it over and over and over again this weekend. Let me give you a couple examples. Uh, I went to a basketball game. That was part of the weekend. And that is a very simple element. If I think I can make a basket, I take it. That's a pretty straightforward analogy. If I don't think I can take it, the likelihood of me taking it is very, very low. I have to think I will make the basket. And then it happens. Even if you think something, you have to do it to make it a reality. Uh, and oftentimes we have to really worry about where our mindsets are and what our mind is driving us because our thoughts drive our actions. Another example, if you think you will be successful at applying for a job, at achieving a task, then you'll go after it. And if you don't think you'll be successful, the likelihood of you going after it is slim to none. If you think it's cold outside, you'll put on a coat. If you think you're hungry, you will eat. Uh, if you think you'll be successful, if you think that some a strategy, a marketing strategy, an activity will work, it will. And you will actually do it and you'll actually move forward on it. If you are looking at a person to hire and you think they will be successful, you will hire them. It is pretty straightforward. Therefore, guiding our mindset and guarding our mindset is even more important. Uh, we have to guide it using tools, but then we have to guard it from all the noise and all the negativity and all the activity that can take us away from that. Let me first talk about guiding it and some of the things that I do to guide my mindset. Uh, guiding my mindset, I have four journals. I know that sounds a little excessive. Let me tell you, they are different journals and they're not overly complex, but let me describe them to you. One of the journals I have is a happiness journal and it's got uh, five years, five years in it. And there is like three or four lines for each uh, day, uh, for each year, each entry. And I enter two, three, four things that I'm grateful for and I'm happy for in that journal. And that's a daily journal. Uh, my second journal is a journal that is really has a question in it and it at, prompt, has a prompt, shall I say, and it only has a couple of lines. So it's not a very complex prompt. It'll ask me things like, um, what was your favorite thing about today? What do, do, who's one of your favorite people? Just random things like that. It is also a five-year journal. So I know that is a big commitment for, for many of you that I do two five-year journals, but they're really interesting. And as I go, I've done them for a long time. So I see what I thought about last year. And I think it's always very interesting to see what I was thinking about last year at this time. The third journal I have is just a blank journal and I use it as a affirmation journal. I use it to write my own affirmations and I write 10 affirmations a day plus one constant affirmation. So each day I will really think through what am I affirming in myself and what do I believe about myself? I will say things like, I am driven, I am grateful, I am happy, I am a good coach, I am a good parent. I am uh, organized. I'll say things like that. I am uh, willing to take risks. But those are 10 affirmations and every day I go through that effort to make those affirmations. And then my fourth journal is more of a weekly journal and it is a more of a process journal and it's taking me through a process of just a self-exploration. Uh, this past week was a lot about uh, things that are cluttering my life, things that are taking away from my focus, things that I can simplify and remove from my life to get focus. So it was more of a, a series of prompts in that respect. So I use journals to help me with my mindset. I don't know what you're using, but having tools to focus on mindset are really, really critical. A few more examples of things that when your mindset is not in the right place, what happens? If you believe and come from a place of fear, if you believe that things, bad things are gonna happen, you're fearful. A good example is you're fearful of losing an employee. 
I have a client that has, over time, operated from a place of fear. And every single time she operates from a place of fear, she knows that it isn't gonna go well, that things, decisions are not optimal, that those, those fear-based decisions do not create an optimal result. And every time she comes from a place of power, a place of confidence, the decisions she makes are way better. And so um, wrestling that fear, wrestling that doubt um, is really, really important because it leads us to do good things. It leads us to do things that are fruitful. I have a, a, someone that I'm working with that has had a lot of self-doubt, uh, a lot of doubt in her mind. And that doubt really paralyzes her. Um, it, it gives it an element of, I don't want to move forward. I don't think I'm capable. And until you think you're capable, you're not gonna try things. I remember many years ago when my daughter uh, uh, was applying for a position and she said to me, I don't want it, I don't want it. I don't think I want it. And I said, really? Did, you, did they offer you the opportunity? And she said, no. And I said, then you're just protecting yourself. You're protecting yourself from disappointment. Uh, you applied, you interviewed, you pursued it. And of course you wanted it, you did it. So the element of saying, I don't want it, it's not that important, is really a self-protection mode. And we're afraid to be disappointed or afraid to be hurt. But it's okay to dream, it's okay to have vision, it's okay to want something and go after something. Because that's us as humans. We look for gratitude, we look for things, we look for ways to get fulfilled. And the way we do that is in our mindset. And if our mind is healthy, and if our mind is thinking that we are confident, we are capable, then we will go after that. That's true if you think you're capable of delivering to a large client, if you think that you can uh, achieve a particular task, you will go after it. It's human nature. If we don't believe something, then we're not gonna do it. It's, if we're not hungry, if we don't believe we're hungry, we are not gonna eat. Pretty simple. If we believe, if we don't believe it's raining outside, we're not taking an umbrella. It is the way our minds work. So lead your mind with healthy thoughts. Lead your mind with your affirmations, with your beliefs that propel you forward. If you like this video and you like another, have another topic in mind, drop it in the comments below. And as well, like, subscribe to my channel below. And until next time,